In Canto 33 of Inferno, Dante is still in the ninth circle and talking with the trapped spirits there. A sinner who identifies himself as Count Ugolino chews on the neck of his killer and betrayer, Archbishop Ruggieri, who was a traitor himself. He recounts how he had been locked up in a tower with his four young sons and starved after having been accused of betraying his kinsman in Pisa. He bitted his hands out of grief and his sons mistook this for hunger and offered their bodies as food. They all finally died of starvation. Now it's unclear in the text whether Ugolino actually engaged in cannibalism, but his punishment suggests this may have been the case. Moving on to the next ring, which houses sinners who betrayed their guests, only their faces emerge from the ice, so they cannot look down as the others do. Dante feels a wind, and Virgil says that he will soon see for himself what is causing it. One spirit, Fra Alberigio, now begs Dante to scrape the ice from his eyes so he can weep for a bit until the ice covers them again. He also explains that he actually has no idea what his fate on Earth has been. Sometimes, when a person becomes a traitor, their body is actually possessed by a demon, so that it may seem like the person is still alive, when really, their soul is in hell. This, he says, is true of Branca d'Oria, who, Dante realizes, is still alive on Earth. Dante only mentions Ugolino's story in passing, accusing the peace and government of unjustly punishing Ugolino's sons. For Dante the author, even the worst of traitors is not completely evil, and Ugolino's betrayal of his city does not cancel out his love and grief for his sons or the horror they had to endure. Dante's sense of God's justice is evident in Fra Alberigio when he asks him to scrape the ice from his eyes. Dante refuses, saying it was courtesy to show him rudeness. Here, Alberigio is guilty of murdering guests at a banquet, a sin similar to that of Branca Doria whose spirit is in hell, but whose body remains possessed on earth. Doria's murdered father-in-law appeared in Canto 23 as a barrator. The canto draws a contrast between Dante's condemnation of the peace and government, which is fallibly human and capable of unjustly punishing the innocent, and God, whose punishments may seem harsh, but are always just.